Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to blend two photos together to create a screaming apple in Photoshop. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see exactly how everything was put together and have some photos to work from if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. Now I've already cut out my apple with the pen tool and converted it to a smart object. That way we can work with it later without any loss in quality. So I have my apple on one layer and my background on another. So the first thing that we need to do is copy our face photo into our Apple photo. So I'm going to select this photo, copy it, and paste it in. And I'm going to convert this to a smart object also. That way it's easier to work with in the future. Then I'm going to set the opacity to about 50%. That way I can see where I need to position my mouth. Once I have it in place, I'm going to set the opacity back to 100%. Now I'm going to zoom in and using my quick selection tool I'm going to select the mouth and the teeth. And don't worry if you go over a little bit, you can always come back and fix that later. So holding Alt I'm going to click and drag and paint on any areas that I want to remove from my selection. Now once I have my selection made I'm going to come up here and click Refine Edge. And first I'm going to set the smooth slider all the way up, that way any jagged edges on my selection will get smoothed out. Then I'm going to set my radius to about 3 pixels. That way Photoshop will automatically try to select and deselect things that it thinks should and shouldn't be in the selection. Next I'm going to increase the contrast just so I get a harder edge on my selection. Finally I'm going to add a feather of about 1 pixel just so it blurs the selection a bit so it blends into our final image better. Now that my selection's made, I'm going to come over to the Layers palette and click the New Layer Mask icon. And that will create a new layer mask using the selection that we just created. Now I can use the arrow keys and move my mouth around just to give it a final position. Next I'm going to click my Apple layer and click the New Layer Mask icon. And using a black brush, I'm going to paint in this area in front of the mouth just to get rid of it. Next I'm going to change my brush to 0% hardness and I'm going to paint on my mouth layer mask and soften up this back edge just a little bit that way the mouth blends into the apple a little bit better. Now since the mouth isn't quite the same color as the apple I'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and I'm going to give that a clipping mask that way it only applies to the mouth layer beneath it. Now I'm going to play with the hue, saturation, and lightness so I can match the color of the mouth with the apple. And that looks pretty good. Now what I don't want is the teeth to be affected by this hue and saturation adjustment layer. So on the layer mask I'm going to paint black and just paint on the teeth. That way it only shows up on the mouth. Now the apple is also a little bit lighter than the mouth. So I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And again I'm going to clip that to the mouth layer beneath it. Then I'm going to increase the brightness to about 75 and the contrast just a bit to match our source image a little bit better. And that's pretty much it. Since everything is on a separate layer, now you can put your apple on any type of background you want. Or you can combine all your layers into another smart object and move everything into a new document. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.